we have a draw. Uh. All right, hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are ready for the Detroit Lions rebuild. Now, for starters, for starters, before I start, feel free to drop a like and subscribe on this video as it really does do help me out, man. I really do love the support you guys are putting on my videos lately, man. It, it really does do mean a lot. It really does do mean a lot, man. So anyway, let's get this started, man, because I'm going to try to keep these intros short because I do know I extend them for longer periods of time, which kind of can get annoying in a sense. All right. So the Detroit Lions, right? They're currently, what, four and six on the regular season. They currently sit second, second in the NFC North. Uh, I believe they're ahead of the uh, the Bears and the Packers with the Vikings being the number one overall in the NFC North. All right. They're doing a little bit better than last season. I know last season they did finish with 311 and one. They did get a tie up in there with the Pittsburgh Steelers, which is mad annoying because we should have won that game. Um, anyway, so I'm recording this on Sunday uh, after their game, of course, and they won their game today against the New York Giants 31 to 18, which is kind of cool, man, because this team does put up points. But the reason why they're losing their games is because they're getting um they're not getting blown out in a sense because they are putting up points they're just allowing teams to put up points against them you know what i mean it's kind of rough right i have a few stats right here if you guys want to know like their offensive rank right they are six in yards per game they're six with uh 371 yards per game uh points per game this is this is crazy points per game 24.3 24.3 uh that puts them at ninth ninth you want to know the crazy part that's offense right defense though defense right defense they're 32nd in yards per game 32nd they give a 461 yards per game per game they're putting up points but they're letting other teams put up points against them that's crazy and they're allowing the most points in the league per game they're ranked 32nd at 29.3 that's crazy i believe three of the last four games they put up 31 points at least almost 31 points but they've given up more points that's how they're just losing ball games in general. All right, guys. All right, that's a that's kind of that's one thing I want to incorporate when it comes to this. You know, just giving you guys stats about the teams I'm trying to rebuild, so you guys know what I'm trying to work with here. All right. Anyway, now in the previous draft, um, as you guys can see I'm gonna pull up the team here. I'm gonna pull up the team. You guys see the team right here, right? We did get Jameson Williams. I believe it was 12th overall out of Alabama, right? I've been getting my control. I got this stuck over here, right? And then on defense, we got the second overall pick. The second overall picking aiden hutchinson this boy is a 78 i know he he got an interception today i think he got an interception again today against the uh new york giants dane jones threw it out of nowhere he just snagged it i was like oh damn <laughs> oh damn now to help benefit this team a little bit right i decided to do something i decided to do something we are gonna run spread because i mean they're kind of tearing it up through the air right uh you know so and so on on the ground so and so uh but defense you guys can see we're kind of bad on defense already uh this is one thing we got to rebuild because um uh, we have to try to win the super bowl in the third year you, you feel me you feel me um on defense we're gonna be running the three four under uh basically and then offense like i said we're gonna be running the spread um that's gonna be pretty much it um since the last rebuild i did i was allowing trades and since we are past the trade deadline at this point i'm not gonna be doing any trades there's no reason to because technically the team they have now is the team they're gonna be riding with to the end of the season right right um so we're just gonna jump straight into this man uh i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the team what we're rocking with and then we're just gonna sim we're just gonna sim i already got everything else out the way uh i'll put in the points and staff later and probably go into mid-season just do them and just go ahead and go from there um so yeah let's just go back into the team right quick let's go back into the team <laughs> Hope I kept that intro a little bit shorter for you guys because uh, we are kind of rambling on a little bit here. But uh, offense, offensive line looking mad nice. We got Panay Sewell. Why not let it fly? Uh, uh, Ragnall, Jackson, Decker, uh, Amos Ross St. Brown is going to be the wide receiver number one for this video. Hopefully he sticks around for a long time too. Jamison Williams is going to be the wide receiver number two. We do got DeAndre Swift. Uh, the quarterback situation. I don't know about the quarterback situation. I'm going to tell you that right now. Um, we might just look into the draft. Depending on where we land in the draft is, you know what? We might go quarterback. Who knows? Who knows? We might just let it fly. Uh, we did, dude. I have no idea why the Detroit Lions traded away TJ Hawkinson to the Minnesota Vikings. You know, 
new man on the Minnesota Vikings type shit. <laughs> it's just weird. Why do you uh, trade him somewhere else? At least, at least trade him to another team that needs a tight end, not your division rival that you're going to see twice a year. And he's just going to cook you twice a year. And he's going to be like, ah, this is what you get for trading me. Ha -ha. Um, anyway, um, this is going to be the defense right here for you. Uh, we're not great when it comes to the linebacking position. I know Rodriguez is kind of getting up there. I know, wait, what are they on, like, Hard Knocks or something? I know Rodriguez was kind of putting on a show. The coach was telling them some shit, like, hey, good job, boy. Um, anyway, Jeff Okuda, you guys know, they drafted him third a couple years back. Uh, Deshaun Elliott, and, you know, secondary, we're pretty cool. I just hope, you know, Aiden Hutchinson can get some sacks this season. Anyway, let's go ahead and start, baby. Let's go ahead and let's simulate to the end of the season. Are you guys? I know you guys see that we face the Philadelphia Eagles first. We're probably going to get cooked first. <laughs> Anyway, I'll see you guys at the end of the season. So here we are at the end of the season. I know you guys can see the bottom of the screen right there. Seven and ten. Seven and ten. Seven and ten. And six and eleven. How is that even a thing? Honestly, tell me, tell me how that's even a thing. Like, who, who are the Packers even playing? How did they even beat us out for the division lead? This makes no sense. Are all of the teams trash? Oh my god. Well, they end up playing the Cowboys anyway, so I don't even expect them to win that. And if they somehow pull that out, I'm going to be mad upset low key because uh they shouldn't even make it that far anyway look we're 81 rated offense that's pretty respectable in a sense in a way give or take maybe not really <laughs> all right let's go ahead and check these stats out uh did any one of us make it in the top three maybe for anything Jalen J Jan brown no that, that's definitely not it we don't have a Jalen johnson nope nope okay screw it we're just gonna go ahead and jump in and check the stats all right offensive guards 27th Oh my god. I mean we're I mean I told you guys we were ninth. Defensive guards. The fact that we are actually six in defense is surprising because that's just a flip-flop role. Even though I just told you guys we we're better on offense than we were on defense. Anyway, Jared Goff finished with 4,100 yards on the season, 33 touchdowns, 18 interceptions. Respectable, respectable. But I know you guys see that on the top right there. He's a bridge QB. He's not the main QB I want to be using in this video, if you ask me. Longest of the season was 75 yards. Anyway, DeAndre Swift, and even in the spread offense, finished with 1,000 yards on the season. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Two touchdowns, though. This boy, Jamal Williams, took all the touchdowns. He said, give me that. Anyway, Amal Ross St. Brown finished with 1,200 yards receiving on the season. 14 touchdowns. Okay, okay, okay. Jamison Williams, 905. Okay, you know what? He could get to 1,000. He could get to 1,000 in one of these two years. Six touchdowns on the season. All right, cool. And DJ Clark finished with 745, and Brock Wright, 707. Let's go ahead and check out these defensive stats. I'm excited. I'm excited. I hope. I hope Aiden Hutchinson got some set. Oh, I already see the stats. <laughs> I already see the stats. All right, tackles on the season. We're just gonna name the top three because this is a drop off to the third one. Anyway, uh, we have Alex Alonzo, 107. Jeff Akuda, a cornerback. A cornerback, 97. Deshaun Elliott, 95. Uh, sacks. No, no, no. Let me say that to the end. Say that to the end. All right, Amani Oruwariye. I hope I said that right. <laughs> Four interceptions on the season. Mike Hughes, three. Jeff Okuda, two. And everybody else, one. Sacks on the season. I already seen it. Aiden Hutchinson, 12 and a half. Damn. Why is there a huge drop off? <laughs> Jesus. 12 and a half, two, one, 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 one. 0.5. Wow, that kind of that kind of sucks. <laughs> I mean, Juju Hughes, I mean, strong safety getting a sack. More power to you, I guess, honestly. Um, I kind of wish that role was flip-flopping. We were better on offense than we were on defense, but that ain't the case. Uh, anyway, I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Um, you know what? Let me go ahead and fill up some staff. Let me go ahead and fill up some staff, and I'll see you guys at the end of the season. <laughs> I'm just messing around. I'm just messing around. Let's go ahead and upgrade these players. Before I show you guys, okay, Aiden Hutchinson, get to your 82, baby. Get to your 82. I need you for the next season. All right, the Cincinnati Bengals against the Los Angeles Rams. This kind of sucks because I know we have the Rams pick, and if they win, then damn, we're going to have the 32nd pick, which I kind of didn't expect. I kind of expected them to be a lot more shit, if you ask me. Uh, but anyway, I got money on the Bengals because the Bengals are just elite. They pass way too much. I hate playing against the Bengals in, well, my franchise because they always toast me in the air, and I can't do anything about it. Anyway, damn, they lost by one. Oh, man, that sucks. That sucks. I don't know if you guys heard that. Mino motorcycle outside. That's crazy. All right. Jalen Hurts, NFL MVP. Nick Sirianni, coach of the year for the Eagles. For the Eagles. Cooper Cup, offensive player of the year. Defensive player of the year. Miles Garrett. I don't think he's going to win in real life. Let's be honest. Um, Kenneth Walker, offensive rookie and defensive rookie of the year. Aiden Hutchinson. Let's get it. Let's get it, man. Get to your superstar X Factor, baby. Let's go. Los Angeles Rams, three times Super Bowl champion. Super Bowl MVP. Matthew Stafford. Damn. That pick is going to be 32nd overall, and I have no idea what I'm going to end up doing with the 32nd overall pick. Um, I could go running back, I guess. Uh, we already have a running back, though, which wouldn't make any sense. Um, 
we'll get to that point when we get to that point so i can actually discuss about what i was gonna do staff week we're not gonna worry about staff week because mainly i already resigned those guys anyway we have like the best staff in the league we're probably gonna win our division next year hopefully uh because we built like that we build different we have 82 mil to work with i have players to negotiate with and i'll see you guys at the end of free agency Ooh -hoo. all right all right hear me out hear me out hear me out right the commanders we all know they need a quarterback they've been struggling to find a quarterback and uh tyler heineke he really a dog though i'm gonna be honest tyler heineke is a dog he's the one who upset the eagles uh but let's be real uh mr wentz ain't it and uh jared goff can learn off of tyler <laughs> i'm just messing around bro i, I tried to wait golf uh, for their first round pick and i tried to wait two thirds they can use your quarterback that's a lot of cap i do not want to take in that just freezes up to sign even more players i'm going to be honest with you we could even trade for a quarterback or even dang heck i don't know we can pick one up in the draft or something like that we'll see we'll see where it goes because we do have a high pick and then we have 15 and then we have 32 uh from there all right that's going to be our trade so here we are with the free agency recap I'm not gonna lie there wasn't a lot of big name players this time around uh because we are playing with the updated rosters and a lot of people have already signed to long-term contracts and stuff like that uh, so let's go ahead and check it out uh we did sign one big free name however uh, i tried going for these two <sighs> didn't really work out they were asking for way too much money and our team sucks and nobody wants to come here um for my signings we picked up marcus davenport to come off the other edge uh it's kind of help um you know aiden hutchinson so he's not kind of out there by himself we do need a tight end so we signed evan ingram i'm gonna not gonna lie to you guys a lot of these players i kind of how to put throw a lot of money at to get to this squad uh we do have 22.9 mil to work with for next year as well uh, getting rid of jared goff kind of helped a lot with that we re-signed deshaun elliott because why not let it fly uh tommy townsend he's gonna be our punter uh I mean, we have two punters now, so let them go at it. Why not? Uh, Jake Elliott, because we needed a kicker. Deion Jones to kind of upgrade our middle linebacker position. Uh, we didn't resign re uh, re 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 uh, Alex Alonzo, so might as well pick up Deion Jones. Uh, Dean Lowry to kind of give some more depth at the defensive line or spot, or well, any defensive line spot as well. Uh, Shai Tuttle also more depth uh malik reed more depth at the linebacker position and i know i just mentioned tyler heineke but welcome to the squad as well <laughs> all right yeah let's go ahead and pause it here where do we what well, can we sit eighth we sit eighth um i honestly don't see the lines falling this far I mean, you know what they might actually sit around eighth but they are currently second in the nfc north and if they keep winning ball games they might actually be like in the middle of the round i'm gonna be honest with you um texan's gonna go quarterback uh these top four can actually go quarterback as well i kind of want to go quarterback because just because why not let it fly you know um <laughs> their offense is already all right there i know there's a lot of quarterbacks to choose from that can help us out in the draft um i know a lot of the names that are being thrown around are kind of um mr young and cj stroud uh but you know what i mean the texans the way they're going they're gonna end up picking up one of those two guys uh panthers the way they're going they're probably gonna end up picking up one of those two guys um who else is kind of at the bottom? Is it like the Bears? No, the Bears are not going to pick up another quarterback or anything like that. If anything, honestly, honestly, I might just trade up to third just to see who falls what where. Um, I do want a quarterback to help us out. I want a decent quarterback to help us out. With that being said, 8, 15, and 32. If I could stay there, I think I'd be okay. Um, Panthers, where you at though? Where you at? All right um yeah you guys desperately need a quarterback and i'm not gonna allow you guys to draft one ashamed of throwing at you mainly because i feel like we can make something happen later on down the road so now we have eighth and number three so whoever falls to us i'll gladly take i know will anderson has to go in one of these two picks and there okay there's will anderson so we're gonna have whoever the atlanta falcons don't want we'll take pretty much unless they go some other route with it well it looks like we got bryce young <laughs> Bryce Young, welcome to the Detroit Lions. Uh, that's enough said. I know we drafted Bryce Young before. Um, I mean, Jared Goff is all right, I guess. Uh, I'm not going to bag him for anything. You know, he is kind of de decent, decent, and uh, not the greatest. But I mean, I would generally start over at quarterback because why not? Um, just let Bryce Young develop under him. But that's not what we're going to do here. We're just going to go straight up quarterback. And Will Levis could be there. Uh, Hendon hooker could be there i know he can't that's not how you spell his name but you can't spell it like that in here madden um so bryson if you could take it to the promised land why not you were supposed to go to the falcons okay whatever <laughs> uh i would have preferred cj stroud just because 
you know, Ohio's close. Why not? Why not CJ Stroud? But who cares? He went to the Atlanta Falcons. Bryce Young, welcome to the squad. He's another one of those guys that could be around this range as well. Um, let's go ahead and keep moving here. So we do carry eight and 32. Uh, we could have, we don't really need a defensive tackle, to be honest, or any defensive line at the moment. Maybe anywhere in the middle linebacker position would help us out a lot. Jordan Addison, pretty cool wide receiver. Our wide receivers are pretty stacked. We don't need anything when it comes to the wide receiver position. I mean, uh, Michael Mayer would have been nice if I didn't already sign a tight end. I'm thinking wide receivers were cool, line were cool, tight ends. I guess we're cool at the moment. We have Bryce Young now. Uh, defense, the line were cool. Cornerbacks, secondary is just, uh, uh, it's, yes, just secondary. Secondary in general. Why not? Kaylee Ringo, welcome to the squad. Oh my goodness, he is a normal. <laughs> that kind of sucks oopsie um now let's just go to the end of the draft and just go from there i know that took that pick took forever i might actually just cut that part out but we can actually tr B. John robinson why they have joe okay whatever dude jordan battle safety we have deshaun elliott back there to replace the other guy maybe um zion nelson i could just pull you and play you at guard if i wanted to anthony richardson was here oh dang okay cool Billingsley to have a backup tight end. Uh, Barnett is Mr. Sewell here. He's not, he went. Um, Trenton, mm, you're here for a reason, but I, I, just, I don't coverage. Trenton, uh, I, I can go linebacker or I could just trade for one at this point. 30 second pick, I could put, just potentially just trade it away, I'm gonna be honest. Jordan Battle, hard, hard hitting safety out of Alabama would be cool. If I can get a first round for next year, I think I will be happier with that. Um, 31st in the next draft. Um, Buccaneers, I think that pick would be cool. Titans. Uh, let's go ahead and go. Rams, you guys have messed around too much, bro. You sure I shouldn't be where you guys are at, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, 49ers. Uh, no, 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 no. All right, screw it. We're gonna go with either the Bucks or the Bengals. Bengals are gonna be good, honestly. Bucks, they have Jared Goff now. Uh, they shouldn't have um, Mr. Tom Brady anymore. Uh, hopefully they do bad. So Bucks, we're swapping with you. Hopefully we can use that pick for something better on, down the road. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and send on the rest of this draft here and I'll see you guys at the start of next season. Here we are at the start of season number two. Um, kind of excited for this one just to see where we go. I know last year it was kind of like the seven and 10, seven and 10, seven and 10, six and 11 type thing. Uh, if we can go ahead and put on a show with our offense, we could potentially win some more ball games. Uh, we're gonna have the Bryce Young effect. And I don't know if you guys have been in my rebuild before, but Bryce Young can potentially lead you to a Super Bowl championship if we ever get there. Um, this is gonna be our offense going on to year number two. You know, pretty much still the same people with the addition of Evan Ingram and Bryce Young there. Um, pretty much wide receiver, of course, stayed the same. The defense, uh, we did get some upgrades in Malik Reed, Deion Jones, uh, Malcolm Rodriguez is still here, Deshaun Elliott, we re-signed him, and we did uh, have an acquisition of M Mr. Marcus Davenport there. Jeff Okuda is still here over Warrior and Mike Hughes. I know we're going to have to probably re-sign them at the end of the season, uh, but that shouldn't be too hard, right? Aiden Hutchinson, hopefully you can have a breakout season. Uh, continue doing what you're doing. Jake Elliott and Townsend there as our kicker and punter, and this is going to be our specialist going on into year now number two that's gonna be pretty much it for that and i'll see you guys all at the end of we're not gonna play the game hell no i'll see you guys all at the end of the season so we are coming up to the end of season number two i kind of hope we performed well um hope we actually won our division <laughs> how does that even happen again dude so you have <laughs> vikings seven and ten packers seven and ten bears six and eleven it's just flip-flop who got the six and eleven this time around as we did finish uh, six and 11, the kind of reverse of what the Bears finished, um, we ended up getting a wild card spot as we ended up taking a dub against the Baltimore Ravens in our last game. So who ended up getting the first seed? It was, oh, we are the second seed. Oh my, uh, wow, okay. Uh, Cowboys are the fourth, Saints third, we are second, and Seattle Seahawks first. Okay, cool. Um, if we can win this game, we have a shot. I just hope the Dang, I don't want to go up against the Cowboys or 49ers, but if that's the case, then that's the case. I'm um, going to go ahead and do this real quick, and then we're going to go into the stats uh, for... I'm going to play it cool. I'm going to play it cool. 
I'm not gonna risk it for no biscuit. I don't want them to be all fired up, rallied up and whatnot. It is the Falcons after all. Uh, dude, they have CJ Stroud. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be a CJ Stroud versus Bryce Young matchup in the first round of the wild card. Let me find out one of us actually wins the Super Bowl. That would be mad crazy. Bryce Young finished first. The Bryce Young effect, I'm telling you, in passing yards on the season. 5,100 passing yards, dude. That is beyond me. So we are fourth in offense. Okay, I expected that because, you know, when I started the video, I said that. And ninth in defense. Okay. I mean, slight improvement from what we did last year. Um, so 46 touchdowns on the season. 18 interceptions. Same as Jared Goff. Jesus. Uh, but, you know, 5,100 passing yards. Cool. I'll take that. Longest of the season was basically a 50 bomb um deandre swift had 871 yards receiving receiving oh my goodness i'm already ready to talk about wide receivers uh, 871 yards rushing on the season with nine touchdowns um jamal williams didn't take his carries this time around so we had 3,000 yard receivers that's crazy we had Amara st brown who had 1300 uh jameson williams who had 1200 basically and evan ingram the person we just signed in the off season with almost 1100 on the season so Amara st brown had 11 um jameson williams had nine and Evan ingram had eight touchdowns on the season great I'm kind of excited to see what this defense did because we were kind of really, oh my goodness we we're i guess we we're just flying to the ball if only one person had 100 tackles and it was a middle linebacker Sure enough. So Deion Jones had 116 tackles on the season. Uh, Tracy Walker and Mike Hughes at 77 and 76, respectfully. Interceptions on the season. Jeff Okuda, oh, he said, re sign me, please. He said that. He said that. Uh, Deshaun Elliott, the, the person we re signed uh, with three. A Warrior had three. Uh, Kirby Joseph had three. And we got two, 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 two. Okay, cool. Um, sacks on the season. Did we at least split it? Okay. Marcus Davenport had nine. Aiden Hutchinson, boy, whoa. Whoa. Were you just not what? Confused. How were you not getting sacks this season? Is it because Davenport? No. Alright, you guys know me. We running the white unis. We we definitely running the no no no. We running the all whites. The all white, all whites. I don't know about that. Yep, all white. You guys know me. If we don't wear all whites, we losing. We definitely losing. No. Yeah, wear that, wear that, wear that, wear that. Okay, cool. All right, we have the better quarterback. We have the better team. We should win this, right? We should. We're playing at forward field. This is going to be one of the home games that we're going to have. Hopefully, hopefully we have two, but uh, this is going to be one of them. So let's go ahead and jump forward to the next quarter just to see what we're doing. All right, did we get a stop? Six points. Okay, Bryson, I need you to drive down the field, put some touchdowns up, man. All right, so we have the ball at the 19 yard line, second and three. We are in the red zone. If uh, Bryce Young can put up a touch, that'd be good. I want to be able to take the lead. I don't like him when we don't have the lead, man. I don't want to be going back and forth, give me anxiety and whatnot. Um, let me change the possession just to see what happens. Okay, we put up a touchdown. We put up a touchdown. Okay, no, 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 no. We're going quarterback quarter. I, I mean, I would like to go. Oh, oh, touchdown. Touchdown again. Oh, that was a field goal. I'm just messing around. Oh, 24 7. Okay, no, come on, Bryce, Bryce. Bryce. Oh, okay. 24-14. If you guys watched my uh trying to go 17 and 0 video, you guys know once you guys start putting up points, you start putting up points. We have 24 currently. If the Falcons can somehow pull it back, I'll be surprised. But we do receive the ball going into the next half. So that'll be cool for us. That'll be cool for us. If we're able to go down the field and score, that'll pretty much seal the game. Seal the game? That pretty much seals it right there. We gotta make okay. I'll take a field goal. I'll take a field goal game. They ha they have to put up two touchdowns. 14 unanswered points to beat us or to tie the game at least send it into overtime we have the ball are we kicking off i think we're kicking off let me jump forward here let me jump, jump forward to change of possession not gonna play oh no no that's game that's game. that's game we're going on into the next this is the bryce young effect baby this man in clutch we're going in to the end of the game as you guys can see we're gonna take the dub here cj stroud who cj stroud who oh 45 24 <laughs> she I gladly take that. Bye, Atlanta. <laughs> Bye. You guys can see Bryce Young had five touchdowns through the year. He had 258 passing yards. Um, let's go ahead and check these stats. Let's check them out. Let's go. Let's go. Player stats. Player stats, man. Uh, CJ Stroud. Uh, we're not going to worry about the Falcons because who cares, right? Uh, okay. 25 for 36 on the day. 258 yards passing. Uh, completion percentage of 70. Uh, five touchdowns through the air with a passer rating or QB rating of 129.4. Rushing on the day, DeAndre Swift at 61. Okay, okay, okay. Amal Ross St. Brown. Uh, let's see who led the team, though. Uh, Evan Ingram has 69. Nice. 
All right, <laughs> Amara St. Brown had 49. Uh, Jameson Williams had 44. On the defensive side of things, let's just go to the top three tackles. Why not? Deion Jones, Deshaun Elliott, Mike Hughes, pretty much. Interceptions or sacks. Aiden Hutchison, okay, I'll take that. Uh, four interceptions. So you have Malcolm Rodriguez, Tracy Walker, and Deion Jones, and Amani over Warrior. Damn, we, we play some shutdown defense. We got that number one in the league, baby. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh gosh, dang it. Oh my goodness. There's no way. Dude, look at the other side of the bracket, bro. If we can pull this off, we have a shot at the Super Bowl. We have a shot. We really, really got a shot. We just got to stop this team. This offense is so elite, bro. Number one in everything. Oh, we for real about to get blown the hell out. If Bryce Young don't put on a show, we going to struggle. I'll tell you that much right now. I'll tell you that much right now. We can win this game. I, I, I know for a fact that we can probably pull out the next one. It's the Giants and Seahawks. Giants and Seahawks. We can, we can win that game. We have the better offense in that game too as well, right? Geno Smith. I don't know what rating Geno Smith is. I don't think they even re-signed him. Um, let's not worry about weekly awards. I'm more worried about winning this damn ball game, dude. Mika Parsons is a 98 overall. You guys know we got to wear the white unis, baby. White unis all the way. All the way white unis. All right. Now, nah, you guys ain't coming in here wearing that. Wearing all those shenanigans. Hell no. No. You guys are gonna wear something goofy. No. Alternate classics. No. <laughs> no, you're not wearing that. No. Why is it glitchy for me? No. Sure, wear that. Wear that. Sure. Sure. Thanksgiving time shit. I don't know. I don't know what that is. This game, I want to close my eyes for, bro. We have the home field advantage, man. Ah, uh, man. This is the second game. This is the second game. If we can pull this out, I actually want to close my eyes in this first quarter because I have no idea what's going to happen. I'm closing my eyes. I'm closing my eyes. Oh, shit. This is... Oh, I expect, I'm expecting a blowout off the rip. This team is way better than this. I'm going to be honest. It's not look up yet. It's not look up yet. They got the ball on the 38-yard line. 10 to 3. 10 to 3. This team, we have no shot. We literally have no shot. Next quarter, we got to generate a stop. Can we drive that field? All right, 10 10, 13 10. Can we get the ball back and score again? Generate a stop. Generate a stop. We have a shot. We have a shot. We have a shot. I have no idea what happened there. I'm just too busy looking at the, <laughs> the bottom of the screen to see what we're doing. <laughs> Change of possession. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oopsie. Oopsie. And like it gets stuck i'm trying to move it down but it gets stuck like i don't know why it does that come on bryce give me a touchdown here no 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 okay three, three okay i'll take that give me a touchdown bryce we have the ball second and five. Second and five let's do it jump to the next play Jensen. i want to see this i gotta see this all right second and five come on deandre swift two yard game do not give me a fourth down come on pass it we get we got a good we got a good quarterback come on now i'll take that i'll take that first down move the chain baby move the chains let's go let's go come on drive down the field Big play penalty on the defense, roughing the passer pretty much. I'm sure what that that was that was roughing the passer. First and ten, six yard reception. Okay, Bryce Young, move the ball down the field, man. This is a really good. Oh, fuck. When yeah, we can't. Who's this Devon Arkine guy? Like, why are you in the game? Oh, I'll take that. Oh, first and goal, baby. Jahil Billingsley. I think he's he's from Texas. I think. Nice, nice, nice. Give me a touchdown. Okay. Okay, I kind of thought that was going to be an interception. Give me a touchdown. 30. Oh, fuck. Two yard line. Give me a touchdown. Yes, sir. I'll take that. I'll take that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Do I slow it down here? I'm going to slow it down. All right. Change the possession. Change the possession. Come on. All right. First and 10. We got to get a stop. Incomplete pass. Yeah. We like that. We like that. We like that. I kind of thought I had the control in my hand. That's why I didn't want to extend my arm. Incomplete. Incomplete again. Incomplete again. Oh, no. Wait. I don't even. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't click on the next one. Third and seven. Okay, three yard rush by Ezekiel Elliott. I would have gave it to Tony Pollard, but why not? Why not? I mean, Tony Pollard has been proving he's the better guy. We didn't convert the field goal attempt. I just noticed that. Oh my goodness. Big time stop. Yes, sir. Big time stop. We need a field goal, though. We need a field goal. Slow it down. Slow it down. Slow it down. This is a really good team. So it's a good thing I'm letting you guys watch this. Let me slow this down right now. This might be a little bit longer video, but hey, screw it. Who is this arcane guy? We have DeAndre Swift. I guess if you're the dude, you're the dude. Okay, third and four. <sighs> okay. I know Bryce Young can get us his first down. Oh, oh yeah, we move the chains. We move the chains, yes sir. 
All right. Okay. Second assist. Oh, you know what? We gotta get into field goal range. If we can get into field goal range, we'll be set. We'll be set. Come on. All right. Field goal range. We're at the 30 yard line. We have Jake Elliott. He's not Mr. Double Doink, is he? No, that was, um, what was his name? I can't remember his name now. He was the kicker for the Eagles, but I was, when I mean Double Doink, I mean the kicker for the Bears way back when. Second and 10. Okay. That's cool. As long as we don't throw an interception. Third and seven. Okay. I'll take that. As long as Bryce Young don't throw an interception, I think I'll be cool. Can we get a field goal off? Oh, three yards. He said, I'll take it myself. I got to make sure, dude. DeAndre Swift has to be in the game, right? Like, I got to make sure. Why is this man getting all the carries? All right. At the six yard line, put up the tub. Seal the game. Seal the game. Seal the game. God, boy, you got to seal the game. All right. Oh, we sealed the game. Let's go. Touchdown. Touchdown. We're going on to the conference championship, baby. Oh, no, that's game. That's game. We don't need to see this. We don't need to see this. No, 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 no. Next quarter. Drive down the field. Four nothing. Four nothing. We're in the conference championship. Let's get it. It's the white unis. The white unis. I'm telling you guys. White uni gang. White uni gang. Let's get it. All right, let's go ahead and check out these player stats, man. Dak Prescott did not have a great day. Did not have a great day. All right. Damn, Bryson, you're really him. 27 for... Uh, 37 on the day, 281 yards uh, passing, 72% completion percentage, one touchdown through the air. All right, rushing. DeAndre Swift at 57. Who is this man who's just carrying our team? Is he the power back or something? Dang, okay, I'll take it. Damn, okay, whatever. All right, uh, DeAndre Swift had 57 yards rushing. Uh, Jason, uh, Jameson Williams has 73 on the day. Billingsley has, oh, you know, what are we doing? What are we doing? All right. Uh, Josh Reynolds has 62 and Billy Zink has 45. All right. Touchdowns on the day. Evan Ingram have one. We've seen that one. We've seen that one. Uh, we've seen it. Um, and let's go to defense. How did our defense do? I feel like we lit it up. So Deion Jones, six. Tracy Walker, six. Jeff Okuda, six. Cool. I'll take that. Oh, I'm not even looking at total tackles. I'm an idiot. All right. Seven, seven, and six. Okay. Basically the same, same people. Aiden is putting on a show. He said, I'm that guy. I'm that guy in the playoffs. Two sacks. I'm not gonna pronounce your name. I'm gonna butcher that big time. Okay, never mind. Deshaun Elliott had one interception. Let's get it as we move on to the conference championship. Championship time. Huh? Is Lazar done? Is champion done? I'm a big Pokemon fan. I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and move on to the conference championship. Bye bye, Dallas. Bye bye. As we face, oh, this is gonna be a showdown and a half. Number one against number two, we are gonna be the away team. They have Jacoby Brisket, bro. Jacoby Brisket, you really him? You really him? Now nah, we're gonna defend the medium pass. Hold on, we're not gonna do that. Um, current. That's <laughs> early white unis. We gonna hit the Super Bowl with the white unis, baby. Yes, sir. The home of the twelfth man. Whoa. We're going to be the 13th man to beat you. I don't know. That didn't make any sense. I'm sorry. Kind of speaking out of my ass at that point. Come on, Bryce Young. I'm all Ross St. Brown. Lead us. Lead us to the chip, baby. There's Deion Jones, number 19. Weird for a linebacker, right? Uh. All right. Let's go to get the super sim going. All right. Close my eyes. First quarter. Close my eyes. First quarter. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm kind of scared. I kind of wish we... We fucked up. Did we throw an interception? I'm pretty sure we did. Which way are we going? Oh my god. We fucked up big time. What's going on, dude? I haven't seen a meltdown this bad since. There's no way we come back from this. There's no way. We fucked it big time. This defense must be elite because they're playing out of their mind right now. Whoa, what just happened, bro? We were the better team. We got shut. We're punting the ball left and right. Oh, man. Uh, I guess they deserved it. We, we weren't the team. <laughs> Not this year, anyway. 
as we lose to Seattle Seahawks 34-14 to Jacoby Brisket in the conference championship. Why? Who else? <laughs> who else would we have lost to in that scenario? I'm gonna be honest. Nobody. Uh, I, I don't even want to check the stats. The fact that we lost that game is kind of sad. Um, let's go ahead and check the box score at least. He's, we've had to have thrown interceptions. That's the only reason we probably lost that game. Two touchdowns, one interception. Those were late game touchdowns. So 230 yards passing on the day. Rushing. Did we have fumbles? We didn't even have fumbles. We just weren't converting on first down, honestly. Um, on the day, you had uh, Jameson Williams at 90. Amal Ross St. Brown 54. Evan Ingram at 54. Defense, 12 total tackles. Eight tackles from Deshaun. And Tracy Walker at six. Sacks. Did we generate any pressure? Uh, he had one and Cooper had one. Interceptions. We did not even pick him off once that game. That kind of sucks. I'm going to be honest. We should have won. We should have won. Now the Seahawks are in the Super Bowl and we were the better team. We could have won it with Bryce Young then and there. Got linebacker. Okay, whatever. We don't need that. We would have been facing the Patriots. The Patriots. Anyway, whatever. I can't care less about the dev upgrade right now. That was probably um, Malcolm Rodriguez or something. I don't know. Uh, so we're going to go to the offseason. I got Patriots in this game mainly because I don't think the Seattle Seahawks were the better team. Yeah. Yeah. Figured. Figured. We we were the better team then and there. We should have won then and there. We had the better offense. It's just the defense that let us down. The defense gave up way too many points, dude. Oh, my goodness. Uh, staff week. We're not going to bother with that. Uh, let us resound players and I'll see you guys during the NFL draft the end of the free agency period that didn't take too long as you guys can see we're uh, 87 rated offense 85 rated defense 85 rated overall that's probably going to drop uh, at the start of next season just probably that's just the morale boost at that point um, I kind of went all in here uh, we kind of had some extra money dude we lost Nick Bosa to the Seattle Seahawks um, that's okay though because our line's already pretty good and I didn't really want to go overboard with it but I kind of did it because I picked up Rashawn Gary at the left outside linebacker position I kind of played it uh, by sight I guess if that's how you say it so I have Rashawn Gary I have Deion Jones and then I have Malcolm Rodriguez who I just don't want to stay there because I feel like he's just better overall at that position I want to keep players you know on the team in that kind of sense Jordan Fuller uh, strong safety he will probably play that Swiss Army Knife role, as I like to say, or he might actually start at the three and then move down um, Tracy Walker to that Swiss Army Knife role. Fletcher Cox just because why not? Why not? And Tavi to be the backup to Deion Jones just because kind of beefed up the defense in that kind of sense when I came to free agency. Our offense is already pretty good. I was trying to pick up a right guard, but it just didn't work out. I'm going to be honest. Um, maybe with one of our picks, we're going to be able to do that. I'm pretty kind of pretty excited. I, didn't, I, I never pay attention to who's one of the better players to, to draft when it comes to the draft. I just go by sight like, oh, you good? You coming on the squad. Hopefully one of the people that are good are going to. OK, who's that second pick? Hello? Was that the. Uh, I feel like that could have been the Buccaneers if they lost Tom Brady. Were they in the playoffs? I don't even remember. Uh, so the Texans finished as the worst overall in the league again hopefully or unless we just make a big splash and just trade away this pick for something that can help us out right now um then again this pick wasn't ours to begin with anyway because you guys see we made it all the way to the conference championship we don't need any of these there's four quarterbacks strong safety right and right and left tap yo we don't need any of this we could possibly trade back but what would what, what good would that do we can pick up defensive tackles and stuff like that cornerback danny hamilton right here can help us Oh, uh, this guy, who is this? A plus awareness? Boy, what? Let me trade back a little bit. Who that? Dad, you might just come to the squad. Hey, uh, all right, let me trade, trade, trade with pick. Uh, I don't want to trade with the Bears or Packers though. Hell no, nah, hell no, nah. get out of here. Oh, the second round pick though, kind of looking juicy. I'm not gonna be honest with you. All right, Mullins, all right. Um, we gotta, we gotta be really, 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 really careful here with what we're gonna do. Cause if I can get picks, I can trade them away and if i can trade them away for something nice that would be great like these thirds great i'll pick that up i want to pick up that left tackle maybe put him at the right guard position to help us out um that's all that matters to me at this point uh maybe use these picks um to pick something up packers and bears you guys don't get your selection you guys are probably gonna go quarterback uh but i don't want any of these guys you guys probably go right end but this dixon guy looks pretty elite i'm gonna be honest with you this guy looks pretty elite too, Jeffries, but we already have, oh, this Barnes guy looking pretty mad and awareness inside block. Oh, why is my head turned like that? <laughs> That's kind of weird. Uh, A-A-B-A-C. Okay, 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 okay. 
A A. Ooh, who's the better guy here? Who's the better guy? A A. Awareness. Impact blocking. All right. High motor runs through the whistle. Good. Okay. Good. What are your elite? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You might just be coming to the squad, big dog. Hold on. You're gonna be. Are you? Are you elite too? Oh, you're just good. You're just good. You're not elite status though. This man out here, elite status. And I'm not gonna make sure. I'm not. I'm gonna make sure we secure the bag on this one. Welcome to the squad, Phil Dixon. Oh, let's go. Hidden. Oh, flex homie. Hidden development trade, Phil Dixon. Let's get it. <laughs> and then I might actually trade away, um, or trade for something that can help us out right now. That 29th pick is not gonna help us out. Um, they're probably not gonna start for us. I'm not gonna cap with you. And I'll give him a shot in one of these recent videos. Trayvon Dick is always the guy that somehow finds his way back on this team. Jamal Dean, I did lose you to free agency last time. So why not come back and try it again? This time go with a championship contender. Okay, I'll take this, I'll take this, I'll take this. I will happily trade away a cornerback when we have abundance of them for somebody that can help us out right now, help us win games. Jamal Dean, welcome to the squad. That's gonna be pretty much it for this draft for us and I'll see you guys at the start of next season. All right, so here we are with the third and final season. Uh, we're not gonna do the opening day keys because no. <laughs> so this can be the team going on to the final year. Hopefully we can take the bag this time, man. Um, our team is looking pretty nice. That is the guy that we drafted with our third overall pick, fourth overall pick. Oh, damn, I can't even remember. And I was just in the draft. Uh, uh, traded with the Cardinals and then ended up picking him up. Oh, well, whatever, because I didn't want him to get snagged. Uh, he was a 75 rated left tackle. Uh, I moved him to right guard because I'm not going to have him play that. Uh, he is a 77 overall. I'm just going to use our coaching uh, thing to reveal his dev trait. Uh, you know what? Let's do that right now. I want you to I want you guys to see firsthand what this guy can be and what he can do. Uh if you can if he can upgrade during the season, oh we're gonna be mad nice. We're gonna be mad nice and win some ball games. Let's do this. Uh review a hidden development trait. Phil Dixon Wixon Lixon. All right. What do you guys think he is? I'm gonna go. Did he double flex on me? He could be a superstar. I might go superstar. And then our line is just filled with tremendous talent, and we're just gonna win ball games, bro. Um superstar? Okay, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. It happens, I guess. Hopefully, he's able to progress and help us win some ball games, dude. Bryce Young, 83 overall. DeAndre Swift, 86. Amal Ross St. Brown, 88. Jamison Williams, 84. We are still running the spread like we were in the first season. Our offensive line can block the hell out the ball if they needed to. Our defense improved a lot from season number one. I know it's not the flashy superstar stars, superstar X factors and stuff like that, but I mean, almost 80s across the board. And then with the morale boost, they could potentially hit 80s. You know what I mean? That's pretty nice. Rashad Gary coming off the edge at the left outside linebacker spot. Um, our defensive line looks way, way better. Jamal Dean being able to cover guys at that 87 rated. Jeff Okuda on the other end of the field. Um, Jordan Fuller is going to be playing a strong safety. Uh, I know I do have a Kirby Joseph there under the free safety position. This Arcane guy, he's really him, so might as well just keep him right there. Townsend, I feel bad because Fox is still here, even though we should have just cut one of them too. <laughs> we should have just cut one of them, right? Uh, Jordan Fuller is going to be the sub linebacker for us. And the slot corner is going to be... I'm actually just going to put Kirby Joseph there because why not? Yeah, let's do that instead. And that's going to be it, guys. Pretty much. We have one final ride, one final season. Let's go ahead and do this. I'll see you guys at the end of season number three. Um, I do predict this to at least be top top four. You know, at least win our division. I don't think our division is too great. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I mean, ever since the update, the Packers haven't been winning ball games, And the um, Minnesota Vikings don't win ball games in simulation. That kind of stuff. <laughs> we are facing... Oh my god, is Jared Goff still on this team? Is he still on this team, dude? 11 and 6. They bounce back. Who is the starting quarterback for this team? I would love to know. Um, if they knock us out after all of that, I was about to say shit talk. I'd be so upset. There's no way we did not get the one seed. Who took the one seed from us? Of course, Giants. Of course, somebody in the NFC East. Uh Jonah Jackson and Billingsley. This is our last ride, guys. We have to be able to win this ball game. Um, I have no idea. The Packers actually bounced back too. They are actually 10 and 7 as well. Why does it look like that's going to fall? Hopefully that doesn't fall. Um, all right. So Justin Herbert finished first in passing yards. Derrick Henry finished first. Uh, none of our backs, none of our receivers. Um, anybody coming off the edge? 
I feel like we just have way too much talent, honestly. Um, so we're ninth in offensive yards this season. And defense, third. Okay, so we have a better defense than last season. Um, Bryce Young had 4,700 yards passing on the season. 45 touchdowns to 8 interceptions. That boy was just lighting it up with the 71% completion percentage. Uh, DeAndre Swift, we did have a thousand year back, which is actually pretty cool with eight touchdowns. Um, why do we have two dudes that look the exact same? What in the world is that? Um, all Ross St. Brown had a thousand yards receiving. Jamison Williams had a thousand yards receiving. Quentin Cephas had 795. Emmett Ingram kind of fell off after last season. Uh, he didn't have that thousand mark, yard mark like he did last season as well. Um, all Ross St. Brown had 12 touchdowns. Jamison Williams had 10. And Quentin Cephas, I know we did sign him to a contract extension and he proved why we should have resigned him with 12 touchdowns. Um, on the season, damn. Damn, this is what a third rank offense gets you. Just everybody finds the ball. Okay, Deion Jones had 89 tackles. Jeff Okuda had 83. Rashawn Gary had 76. Sacks on the season, 16. Okay, Aiden Hutchinson bounced back. It was definitely not putting him at his position. Um, that kind of affected him in that kind of sense. Rashad Gary had eight and a half. Davenport had seven and a half. Cool. Cool. Fletcher Cox had four and a half. That's cool because I kind of put Davenport ahead of Fletcher Cox just because I wanted the younger player to de develop in that sense. Mike Hughes had four interceptions. Deion Jones had two. And Deshaun Elliott had some as well. And yeah. All right, cool. Our defense is pretty solid. Um, I didn't even go over the award winners, huh? And of the first two seasons, I completely forgot. I am so sorry for that. Hey, hey my fault. Um, let's go ahead and jump into this playoff game, man. We have another opportunity to be able to make a run and potentially win it all this season. Uh, let's go here. We're going to run the away unis. Hopefully that proves us. Uh, nope. Ew. No, definitely not. Definitely not. No. Sure. <laughs> We're something throwback. <laughs> so I know you guys won't beat us. Um, forward field. Uh, we were the second seed, right? It was the Giants who ended up with the first. As we were wearing the white unis, because, you know, superstitions and whatnot. Uh, let's go ahead and jump forward. Hopefully, we're able to put on a touchdown as they are driving down the field. They, okay, 3-0. Oh, we need an answer, dude. 7-3. Okay, after the first quarter, it is 7-3. We were able to generate a stop. It is third and 18. If we can stop them here, get the ball back, put up another score, that'd be great. We have a solid defense. We should be able to contain here. As they get the ball back and put up another touchdown. Okay. 14-9. Oh, dude, this is going to go back and forth, ain't it? This is going to be a battle of the defenses. Oh, my goodness. We have to go out on top. Come on. We are the better team. Bryce. Bryce, give me something. All right. And then they go back down the field and score. Dang. Dang, 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 dang. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go change the possession. No, no, no. Let's go next play. Next play. This is going to be a close one. Okay. First and 10. 14-yard reception. Bryce Young to Evan Ingram. All right. This is going to be another one of those scenarios, kind of like we had with the Cowboys. All right, first and 10, two yard run by DeAndre Swift. Cool, second and eight. Third and two, we get a big run by Devin Arcane there. If we take a field goal, that'll be cool. We go up 24, 22. We just have to be able to get a stop and then score again, and then we should be fine. Um, first down, uh, six yard reception by Quentin Cephas from Bryce Young. Okay, and, okay, second and three. This Devin Arcane, who is this guy? <laughs> who is this guy, dude? Oh my goodness, this guy's putting on a show for us. Bryce Young with the touchdown to Amal Ross St. Brown, 23 yards out. Let's get it. Now we have to get a stop. Oh, one yard rush for, did Did you not get it? Did it not say touchdown? Am I tripping? Or is this two point conversion? It was two point conversion. Okay. So we are up a touchdown, which is good. So we have to generate a stop and if we can get a stop, then we can potentially put up some more points on the board. Gonna slow it down here. All right, first and 10, second and inches. First and 10, second and four. It's first and 10, damn. All right, damn, okay. Wow, wow, that is how you respond. Oh my goodness. We need a touchdown, Bryce. Come on, lead us there. Nope, third and 13, first down. I'll take that. It's 15 yard penalty, roughing the passer, pretty much what that was. All right, come on, we gotta get a touchdown here, man. We have to get this stop, dude. This is gonna be a rough one. I feel like whoever we play next will be a lot easier than who we're facing right now. First and 10. All right, Jameson Williams got it. Nice, nice. Let's move this ball. Second and five. Good. Five yard reception. Bryce Young making some dots. No, we do not need that. We don't need that, Decker. Come on. Oh my gosh, we do not need that. They have a good defensive line, though. I'll give it to them. Oh, what is this? What is this? 20 yard line for a touchback. Townsend, you got to be a better punter than that. Second and 16. Third and 11. Can we get a. 
14 yard reception, second and 10, first and 10, second and six. What are we doing? Second. All right, we got it. Third and six, fourth and just kick a field goal. Bryce Young, this is all you, buddy. This is all you. We have three, two timeouts left. We could get a field goal here. We brought it out. Okay, great. Take a shot. We need to take a shot. Second pass knocked away. Third and 10. Oh, fourth and 10. You gotta be kidding me. You really choked. I'm shook. <laughs> what if we somehow make it to the super bowl that right there that moment will be the reason why all right bryce Young, 26 for 47 on the day 380 yards passing four touchdowns no interceptions that's crazy this was a this was a shootout this was a shootout in my book anyway 59 rushing yards for deandre swift receiving on the day we had Quentin Cephas with 121, Amal Rossine Brown had 95, Jameson Williams had 66. Three touchdowns there for three different receivers. Defense, total tackles. This man, Mike Hughes, Rashad Gary, and Aiden Hutchinson. Sacks on the day. All right, two sacks, Aiden Hutchinson. This man is a, a playoff beast. I'm telling you right now, playoff beast in a half. Mike Hughes, uh, half, and Rashad Gary, half. Interceptions on the day, no interceptions. <sighs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know what to say that was crazy crazy that's crazy that that's a win in itself but i know if we lose here we lose man weekly all right so we got pretty much got everything done we we're going up against trey lance i am not afraid here it's just going to be a defensive matchup honestly we just got to stop trey lance and we should be fine um we gotta wear the white unis baby all right where yeah wear that wear that wear that. that's cool that's cool that's cool all right do you guys like that when i slow it down in the fourth quarter if it's a close game that's actually pretty cool like you guys can actually see what's going on like oh my goodness you know what i mean all right all right so hopefully we can come down the field and score as the kansas city chiefs down the bottom beat the buffalo bills all right next quarter come on come on let's put on a show bryce that is not us all right bryce come on lead us for the touchdown 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 second and seven four niners have the ball all right, we got to put up a touchdown, bro. We got to hold them to a field or, or just let them score. All right, 14, 10. Stop. Give me a touchdown. Give me a touchdown. Give me a touchdown. Oh. No. All right, cool. Cool. 14, 10. We lead at the half. We lead at the half. Uh, I'm fine with that. Fine with that. If we can get a touchdown, go up 21, 10, that'll be fine. I know they got the ball. And we just drove down and can. All right, we're just humiliating them this quarter. All right, cool. <laughs> Let's just. Okay, fine. It's into the end of the game. They No, no, no. no. Slow down. Slow down. They could put up two touchdowns or not. Okay, we. Mm. all right all right it's gonna be 31 17 we end up pulling it out this time around i kind of thought it was gonna be a lot closer game but i guess not he bryce young said i'll just take the reins here last game was a fluke i'll just handle this myself great anyway let's go trey lance really did choke it what is he one touchdown now nah, he didn't lead his team to nothing he said no nah, i don't want to play all right cool 22 for 27 on the day 267 yards passing 81 percent completion for percentage four touchdowns on the day that's great 76 yards from deandre swift receiving we had amal ross st brown at 128 jameson williams at 61 and emmany Ingram at 39 uh defense top three we have jordan fuller davenport and deon jones at eight six and six sacks on the day we had dude aiden hudgeson is a playoff monster bro two and a half deon jones one Rashad Gary won. We got to him. We got to him. That's that's what that's what pulled it out for us. No interception of the day, but we did definitely get to him as we pulled it out. Uh, Thirty-one to seventeen, right? Thirty-one to seventeen. We have one more game, and this is where we ended up last time. One step away, and we got blown out by the Seattle Seahawks. Hopefully, we're putting up thirty-one points in the playoffs. If we can, we have one more game. One more game. Who do we got? We have the Washington Commanders. Their offense is doo doo. But their defense is pretty solid. So if we can put up some points here, we... <laughs> the guy we traded away is stopping us from reaching our destiny. The guy we traded away, he said, what do you think you doing? 
one step away. We are gonna wear the white unis. You guys know what we rep in. The white on white action. Nope, you guys can wear, that looks kind of ugly. You guys can rock that. All right guys, Bryce Young, you have one game. Blow them out off the rip and we don't have to worry about this team. I get to play another Super Bowl and I'd rather have that any day of the week. All right, let's get it. If one team prevents us, if we get stopped at the conference championship back to back and the second time we lose is to Jared Goff, <sighs> Let's go ahead and get this game started, man. As they are driving down the field very comfortably, and we answer back. The game is tied 7-7. Um, third and eight for the Washington Commanders, as you guys can see there. They're at the 36-yard line. If we do, we got to get this stop, and Bryson has to put up some points for us. There's no way our offense, our offense is too good. I know their defense is good, but their offense is poopy. We have a better D-line. We have the better defense. No, we don't. They have the better defense. We have the better offense. All right, come on. One more quarter. Come on, let's get it. All right, so they, okay, we put up another touchdown. We got to stop. We got to stop. We got to stop. Okay, I'll take a field goal. We're at, okay, 21. <laughs> 21, 20. We are almost there. We have one drive down the field, Bryce. Put it away. 28, 20. Put it away. One more touchdown. One more touchdown to seal your destiny. Come on. I, I, okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to jump play by play. And then if we score, I will sim. All right, third and five, incomplete pass. If we get a field goal, fine, right? We're up two possessions. I'll take that in the end of the week. Come on, Bryce Young, fourth and nine. We cannot miss the field goal. All right, I'll take that. I'll happily take that. And then we'll go change of possessions to see how this goes. All right, change of possession. All right, first and 10, right? Okay, three yard run, no big deal. Big dunk, oh my goodness. They have scary Terry though. That's the one thing that, that scares me. He's definitely scary. All right. All right, first and 10. Uh, they have James Robinson too, dude. They had money, money, they said. Oh my God, they're just taking shot after shot. Oh my goodness, they are driving down the field. No hesitation, first and goal. And they put up a touchdown. Wow, and they got, they failed the two point. If we can get a field goal here, we should be fine. We should be fine. And that is not what we need. Third and 14, fourth and three. I would have them go for it, but that's not my call. We got to get a punt here. Third and 11, fourth and five. Punt it. Yes, sir. Come on, Bryce. This is it. This is, this is all done. Champion time. This is champion time, baby. Champion time. Third and four. We're running. The, why are we running the ball? All right, I'll take that. I'll take that. Field goal range. Put it one possession game. I'll take a one possession game lead. Uh, a five point lead ain't it right now. Third and four. We got to get a first down. This is champion time. We gotta get a stop. They're gonna drive. It's champion time, baby, come on. Come on, Bryce, come on, Bryce. Fifty-three seconds to go. This can go into overtime. Second and one. Twenty-one seconds to go. Fourteen seconds to go. One timeout left. We're gonna kick a field goal to try to send this into OT. <laughs> they got the ball. They're driving. They're driving. Fourth and it just punt it. Yes, go. Bryce, win this baby, win this. We have a draw. I thought we took a shot and we won the ball game. Who fumbled the ball to cost us the game? What just happened, dude? Go to overtime. What happened? We fumbled the ball. Out of any possible... Dude, Bryce Young put it on his back. We just... 
somebody who fumbled the ball that's what i'm curious about as we took an l finally when it comes to rebuilds but that was crazy uh that was crazy. bryce young 30 for 38 on the day three passing touchdowns 376 on the day rushing we had deandre swift with 48 on the day you did not fumble. you weren't the one who fumbled for bryce young were you the one that fumbled it's not gonna tell us receiving all right we have two receivers over 100 we have omal ross and brown at 133 and jameson williams at 112 evan ingram at 81 who fumbled this ball dude oh my goodness that is ridiculous of course of course the guy we traded away is the guy who put an end to everything uh aiden hutchinson seven tackles tracy walker seven and rashad gary had eight uh, sacks on the game rashad gary had two interceptions jordan fuller had one um it's not gonna say who fumbled the ball i kind of wish I, I knew who fumbled the ball but whatever team stats uh, can i watch the highlights Oh, so you tell me, I think we took a shot downfield, converted the ball, but he fumbled and he returned it all the way. To the th and then kicked the field goal to win us. Our defense is way better than what the Chiefs have and they were able to do that to them. It's crazy. I don't believe it. We just got toasted. That's the way we lost. We got a revenge game. Revenge game. That's all I can say. Revenge game. Kansas City wins, up, wins their third Super Bowl led by Patrick Mahomes as a Super Bowl MVP. Josh Allen had NFL MVP, Zach Taylor, Coach of the Year, Cooper Cup, Offensive, Defensive Player of the Year, Chris Jones, Jesse Bowles, Offensive Rookie, Defensive Rookies, Deontay Cooks. All right. <laughs> I'm still in shock about what happened in that was a divisional round game. I am in shock. That is ridiculous. Anyway, guys, if you guys made it to the end of the video, man, feel free to drop a like and subscribe as it really does do help me out, man. We are on the road to 1000. We're kind of trending on that route at this point. Um, just, dude, I'm shocked what, what's going on right now. Like, it really does mean a lot to me, though. But I'm shocked about what happened in the game and I'm shocked about what's going on with my channel. Kind of out of nowhere, it's kind of hitting some kind of explosion or something like that when it comes to the trend and and whatnot. And that I thank you guys for. Um, for those of you guys who are watching, who are subscribing. Anyway, I'll see you guys all in the next video. I think we've got the, the bears in the next video. So we're gonna we're gonna stay here in the NFC North. Anyway, I'll see you guys on the next video. Till next time. Clumsy guys. See ya. I need you like the sun.